In this video we present results of our lab from the latest field deployments conducted in the scope of the Digiforest EU project, in Stein am Rhein, Switzerland. Digiforest brings together various partners working on aerial and legged robots, autonomous harvesters, and forestry decision makers. The goal of the project is to enable autonomous robot navigation, exploration, and mapping, both below and above the canopy, to create a data pipeline that can support and enhance foresters' decision-making systems. Specifically, this video focuses on the under-canopy deployment of autonomous aerial robots. First, we present a marsupial joint-legged aerial system, exploiting both the endurance of the legged robot and the natural ability of flying systems to be unbounded by terrain. When a difficult-to-traverse area is encountered, the docking system hosting the aerial robot opens and then an aerial exploration mission starts. To that end, a set of naive waypoints is automatically generated to cover the area in a lawnmower pattern. Then, an autonomy pipeline involving onboard litter slam and volumetric path planning is used to generate collision-free paths to reach those waypoints. Second, we exploited the challenging forest environments to test two new learning-based navigation methods that compute collision-free actions without assuming access to any form of consistent map or global position estimates. Rather, these methods exploit current sensor measurements to infer an implicit representation of the currently visible environment, and generate actions accordingly. The first method exploits a neural network to generate a navigation control barrier function which certifies safety with respect to the current environment, visible through a litter scan. Then, a CBFQP is used as a safety filter to render safe any nominal control policy. In these results, an unsafe pilot provides adversarial acceleration commands to the system, trying to actively collide the drone with trees, but the safety filter recovers in a timely manner. The second method leverages a neural network to compress a single depth image into an implicit volumetric representation of the environment. It is used as a local position constraint in an optimal predictive controller that otherwise follows a naive velocity reference in order to reach an arbitrary waypoint. Both methods are running in real time on an NVIDIA or an NX. Our lab's next step in the project is to integrate those individual blocks in a comprehensive resilient navigation stack to enable large-scale missions at high speed and in cluttered environments.